Hi, this is Rachel with Curtis Orchard and we're out doing a little bit of beekeeping today. Uh, last Friday I checked on all the hives and they're all doing great and they're ready for another box. So I am pulling all my boxes out that have had brood in them and I'm trying to make sure that there's a little bit of fresh frames in there as well because I don't have enough with fully drawn comb. Now fully drawn comb means that they've pulled the wax cells out. You can see that there's some sugar and uh, honey and stuff left in there from the bees from before and that's totally fine. This has a black plastic foundation. That just makes it easier to see brood and larva in there. So that's what we're working on here. Some of these, you can see the bees have eaten most of this honey uh, and this has the yellow foundation in the back. So it's plastic, that just makes it sturdier. And this has some capped honey on it. So it's great that we saved this in the freezer and now we'll bring it back out and put it on the hive and the bees will be happy to have some good resources as they build their stock up. The queen is laying like crazy, 1,000 eggs up to, to uh, every day. Probably not quite laying that much, but she's going to be to that point soon, which is why we're expanding the hives by putting another box on. We're not quite to the point of collecting honey, but we'll be doing that very soon. So I'm gonna get the smoker going and add it onto the hive. So this is a smoker, it's just empty. It looks dirty, that's just from all the soot. And I have apple wood shavings here that are great and they stay lit well and they're easy to light. And uh, that just gets some nice smoke going, which is how we calm the bees and help move them around to some. It's a little windy today, unfortunately, but we're a little protected over here. Once it gets going, then we can add more fuel to it. I just give them a few puffs. They're very calm bees overall. I really haven't had too much aggression. Of course, the weather is a little bit overcast, which tends to make me a little less happy about that. Now you're probably wondering what is the stuff on top of the hive. This is just pollen patties. So we're just encouraging them uh, to collect more pollen, which they're bringing tons in on a nice sunny day. Uh, so they. If they stop eating it, we'll just take it out of there. I'm gonna move it to the top of the other hive. And this just helps the queen with, uh, with bees feed the baby bees because they need lots of protein this time of year. So pollen is the protein and honey is the carbohydrate. And this is a very natural method of collecting hive beetles. The bees will chase them to this and the hive beetles will start chewing on it and they get trapped in it. And then the bees will actually pull this whole sheet out. And it's just like a handy wipe thing. It's so simple, but I don't know how someone figured out it works, but it really does. I could leave it there, but I'll probably move it to the, to the top box. So I like to make sure there's no bees on top, which is why the smoker works great. It's a little bit cooler today, so they've kind of gone down in the box. And I checked these girls just on Friday, so I know that they're doing great. There's lots of brood in there and that's why I'm not gonna check them again today. You really don't wanna disturb your hives more than necessary because it, you have the potential of killing your queen or just causing problems, breaking apart cells and stuff. So we're starting to look and keep an eye out for swarm cells. That's just them starting to make a queen because they might think they're getting too crowded. So that's one reason I want to stay ahead of them and give them some extra space. And I just clean out some of this propolis so it will stick to you back. So clean, probably up in the box and we'll start making more, more honey. All right, and I had forgotten the inner cover. So this is called the inner cover. It has little entrances. So it allows the bees to go in and out the top as well. You could put it either way. I like to put it this way because it allows for a little extra room with the pollen being up here. And I usually dunk the pollen in sugar water just to make it softer and more attractive to the bees. Put that in. 
Now the next box I put on this will be a super, which is just a fancy name for a box that will collect honey on. Put the queen excluder and then the super. All those girls will get squished because of the inner cover. Now we'll put the inner cover. Make sure this stays. Thanks for watching, and we hope you'll come out and try some honey. Thanks for joining us on a beekeeping update. Here's what she used on those little beetles, handy wipes. Hello, Stella. Are you hiding from the bees?